Now that we've talked about generics, let's touch upon something that I believe we need to know about before we continue with the rest of this course. And we're not going to go into too much details about this. This is something that I call a PCMP, and you're going to know, you get to know about that soon. But I still believe that it is important enough to have to include it in this course. And um, PCMP is something, I mean, to be honest with you, I've just made up this abbreviation. It's just for me to remember it, but it, is, it stands for Package Crate Module and Path. And these are four components that are very, very integral in understanding how Rust uses um, the use uh, keyword and how you can include library creates and what a create actually is, what modules are and paths, etc. So let's have a look at some examples in here. Actually, we're going to have a look at one example, but I'm just going to give you some more explanation about what this example actually entails. Now, a package uh, is a set of crates, and um, what you what you need to know about is that in in a package, you have at most one library crate and uh, zero or more binary crates. And library crate is pretty much like if you're a Windows user, you probably know them as a DLL, dynamic link, linked library, or DYLibs in Mac, for instance. And so it's just a library. It's a library with no executable code. So you just write some code that you may want to reuse between different projects. So that would, that would be a library crate. And a crate then is placed inside a package. So that is the PC part of PCMP. So package includes crates. And a package can, just remember this rule, at, um, at most, uh, so it can it it has to have, I mean, if it has a library uh, crate, then it can at most be one, but it can have zero or more binary crates, okay? So, uh, and a crate, when we get to the C part of PCMP, a crate is a set of modules. So, um, and um, modules are basically, is a set of reusable pieces of code that you give them a name. So it's kind of like a workspace if you're familiar with like the old days of C Sharp, etc. So it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like a logical uh, separation of pieces of code that are related to each other and you give it a particular name. So that will become a module and it's written with the mod keyword in Rust. Now, uh, Paths uh, are basically what you construct your uh, when you use a use uh, keyword in Rust. That is a path. You say use std, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. When we were talking talking about partial EQ, for instance, so those are paths, and they're the lowest part of PCMP. They're not something that you have to construct yourself, but paths are the result of how you construct your PCM part. So the the packages and crates and module and path is how you refer to those modules inside your crates, which are then inside packages, okay? Now, uh, binary crates can be placed inside SRC bin folder, and you can, this way, you can have multiple binary crates in uh, inside the same package. And a uh, simplest way to really demonstrate this is by creating a simple uh, package in here that inc includes one and uh, binary, uh, sorry, one library crate and also one binary crate. In the library crate, we're going to have two modules, one for add addition and subtraction. And in the executable or the binary uh, crate, then we're going to refer to that library crate and include those modules inside our binary crate and use them. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a, a new binary crate. So we're going to say cargo new bin and we're going to call it my app okay and uh, already exists oh it just it just happens to exist so i'm just going to say rm uh, i actually let's let's see mk vr testing and, and say i'm going to say cd testing and i'm going to say uh, cargo new bin and my app so i'm going to create that in an entirely entirely new folder okay so now, inside this, now, uh, if you go inside my app, you will see that the structure looks like this. You have SRC in here, and in SRC, then you have your uh, main uh, RS file, okay? What we're going to do is uh, inside this my app uh, package, which has a binary crate, we're going to go ahead and create a, a library uh, crate as well. So we're going to say cargo new lib, and we're going to call it int utils. Okay, so you can see it says created library in utils package for us. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do a code in here. So we are going to open up Visual Studio Code. Okay, so um, 
I'm gonna grab some uh, grab some settings. So let's go to our preferences and paste our settings and increase uh, which increases the font for us both in the editor and also in the integrated terminal and we format on save and what our default format are being the rust uh, analyzer plugin for or extension for visual studio code okay so if you look at how things look like in here we have our src main and in here we have int utils with src lib rs in there okay so that's how we've structured our uh, code right now now we're going to go into int utils src lib and then we're going to add our uh, modules in there so you can see we're going to have a public module for addition and a public module for subtraction so let's remove all that code and say pop mod addition okay and we're going to say fn add and in here we're going to take two integers and add them together and just return the result and we're going to have pop mod and we're going to have subtraction which has a subtract function so the goal here is for us to write these functions and then go ahead inside our binary crate and import these two functions into our binary crate, okay? Now let's go in src main in here and import uh, that uh, those two modules from our library crate, okay? And what we can do in here as well is to uh, ensure that we have Clippy, but just just for the purpose of moving forward with this section of the video as fast as possible let's just not have to include clippy in our application okay so or maybe let's do it let's do that actually why not so let's bring up clippy in here uh, and then we remove this print statement from here and let's go into terminal and bring up cargo then uh, cargo watch so let me see if you can actually see all that that i'm typing maybe not i'm gonna bring the terminal up so let's say cargo, oops, uh, cargo watch, uh, cargo watch, QC with the Clippy. Okay, so nothing at the moment is happening because we don't actually have any execute uh, any code to be executed in the main function in here, okay? So let's go ahead and bring those two paths into our applications where we're going to say use int utils in here, okay? And then we're going to use int utils subtract, subtraction module and then we're gonna include the subtract function in here. And likewise, we're also gonna add the, um, uh, the addition uh, function. So let's go ahead uh, and say use int utils addition and then addition function in here, okay? And, if, and by importing that, I mean that we need to tell our main binary crate in here that it needs to have access to int utils. And you do that by going to, imagine, let me, uh, collapse these so if we go to <clears throat> excuse me if we go to cargo toml which is our main binary create packages uh, cargo uh, toml file in here we need to tell that uh, int utils is actually a crate that we have access to and uh, the way to do that is to tell it that int utils is uh, basically a crate that we're going to use and its path is int utils uh, which is this folder right here so that's the first change that we have to make the other change that i noticed we need to make before we can actually run our application is by going to src <clears throat> excuse me again in int util and librs and in here we need to make sure that these functions are also public functions so let's prefix them with pub in here to make them uh, pub and also you can see in here this function addition it's called add and also in subtraction it's called subtract so let's change this function to be sub and in addition it's going to be add <clears throat> after we're done and we're done with that let's go to addition in here and let's change this to add and let's change this to sub after making these changes you should be able to at least compile your application so have access to the add and the sub functions all right so this is the p part of um what we were talking about pcmp which is for package create module and path so this is the path of this particular uh, function in this particular module um and in this particular crate okay so that's how a path is created <clears throat> so after we're done with that let's go and uh, use these functions so let's say added is we're going to use the add function at subtracted we're going to use the sub function okay and then we can print the result of these to the console so let's see added and then subtracted so let's do that and bring up our console in here you can see three and minus one are printed to the screen 
Okay, now that we're done with this, we're basically going to wrap up this part of the video about PCMP, which is a package crate module and path. <clears throat> We've already talked about quite a bit of these uh, concepts, but we're not going to go too much into that because it is not at the moment. I don't see it fit to go too much into details about PCMP right now. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about it later, perhaps. But having the basic knowledge of uh, packages um, and crates and modules and paths is going to give you enough knowledge at least and especially having a look at this example to understand at least what the what you're doing when you're using the use keyword in rust so uh, i really suggest that you go ahead and uh, experiment with this a little bit yourself create some library crates create some binary crates and try to fuse them together and see how it works so remember every package can have maximum of one library crate and zero to uh, many binary crates. So have that rule in mind and go ahead and do some experimentation on your own. And I'll see you in the next section of the course.